Modern floor tiles are available in many different shapes and sizes to give a very distinctive personality to the feel of a room. Today we're going into two factories to have a look at the way that floor tiles are made. There are two types of tiles, ceramic tiles and porcelain tiles. Both are made from a mixture of different clays and sand. The raw materials are mined in a quarry and come into the factory in very rough form. They are put into a crusher machine which breaks up the larger pieces. The raw materials are sent by conveyor to huge milling machines. The clay and sand are ground to very tiny particles and mixed with water and other additives to create a mixture that is suitable for making floor tiles. In the vitro factory they produce porcelain tiles. To make porcelain tiles, cement in the form of andesite is added to the mixture, which is fed to a screen feeder. This machine is very much like a cheese grater. A rotating screw inside the machine presses chunks of the clay through holes at the bottom of the feeder. The clay is fed to the extrusion machine. Inside the machine, a vacuum removes all air from the clay mix and a large screw presses the clay through a metal die and a sheet of material that will form the tiles is punched out of the machine. This process is known as extrusion. The tiles are cut to size and move down the line to the next stage of production. Next door to the Vitro factory is the Pegasus factory which produces ceramic tiles. Ceramic tiles are produced slightly differently. The raw materials are milled to a very fine powder mixed with water and the mix is pressed into the shape of a tile. Each factory uses 800 to 900 tons of raw materials per day and produces tiles up to 600 millimeters square. Both porcelain and ceramic tiles now pass through a drying process to remove some of the moisture from the material. The clay is quite supple as it goes into the dryer. The drying process gives the tile more strength. The pattern on a tile is printed onto the surface. To prepare them for printing, both porcelain and ceramic tiles pass through a spray tunnel which sprays a primer coating onto each tile. Printing is done in two ways. A screen printing method is used on some of the lines. Here we can clearly see the different colors being applied to the tiles as they pass through the screen printing section of the production line. A second method utilizes a very modern inkjet printing machine to apply the pattern to the tile. This machine will print any design that is entered into the computer onto the tiles. A protective top coating of glaze is sprayed onto each tile. This turns white shortly after it comes out of the spray tunnel, but will become transparent as the tile passes through the firing process in the kiln. The kiln is a long tunnel heated by gas heaters through which each tile passes in a process known as firing. In the first section of the kiln, the tile is dried at low temperature to remove water from the clay. If the tiles were subjected to very high temperatures in this first phase, the water in the tiles would turn to steam and many of the tiles would explode. Once the tile has been dried sufficiently, the temperature in the kiln is raised to 1185 degrees centigrade. This is where the tile is fired to bake the clays and other materials that are in the body of the tile. A cooling section at the end of the tunnel cools the tiles at a uniform rate before they come out of the kiln. This is done to prevent warping or cracking of the tile. If they were suddenly exposed to the cool air temperature outside the kiln while they were very hot, the tiles may warp or crack, which is caused by thermal shock. Each tile passes tests of strength, size and geometrical precision and the tiles move into the stacking machine. Here the computer sorts each tile into its own quality grading. A grade tiles will be put together and B grade tiles will be automatically sorted into a different stack at very high speed. These factories can each produce up to half a million tiles every day and are open for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So quality machinery and personnel are important to prevent breakdowns. 
Processes are becoming highly automated in South African factories to maintain efficiency at a high level without the need to stop for breaks. This robotic forklift uses a system of lasers that are reflected around the factory by special panels. These laser-guided vehicles move the boxes of tiles to the next stage of production very efficiently in this large factory. Both ceramic and porcelain floor tiles provide a tough and attractive finish to bathrooms, kitchens and the rest of the home. Modern home design techniques have called for modern tile design. These factories utilize the latest production techniques to produce quality floor tiles for the South African and international markets.